five Japanese cars to stay away from buying. Hello and welcome back to Automotive Class, the channel where we break down the world of automobiles, one review at a time. Today, we're delving into a topic that's equally important as finding the right car to buy and knowing which ones to avoid. So, fasten your seatbelts because in this video, we'll be discussing five Japanese cars that you should definitely think twice about before buying. We've done our research, considered the pros and cons, and compiled a list to help you make an informed decision. Whether you're a seasoned car enthusiast or a first-time buyer, this video is packed with valuable insights to ensure you don't end up with regrets. Let's dive in. Japanese cars have earned and maintained a well-deserved reputation for reliability and affordability. For instance, the 2023 Toyota RAV4 is the fourth best-selling car of 2023 so far, according to Car and Driver. It falls behind American classics like the number one Ford F-Series pickup trucks, the Chevy Silverado, and the Dodge Ram pickup, all exemplifying Americans' love for pickup trucks. Regarding sedans, the Toyota Camry is the second, only to the Tesla model. Why on the list of best-selling vehicles? The Toyota Tacoma and Corolla and several Nissan and Honda models also made the list. But not every Japanese car is a winner. In fact, Japanese manufacturers, including Honda and Toyota, have had some duds over the decades. You might want to avoid these models if you're shopping for a classic Japanese car. That will hold its value while delivering performance, comfort, and style. Here we go. Mazda RX-8. The first generation Maxda RX-8 was sold from 2004 to 2008. It had a four-cylinder engine that wasn't winning any races with 212 HP. But worse than that, it ranks just 11th in reliability. Out of 19 Mazda models evaluated by MazdaProblems.com, the site reveals complaints about engineer failure, power steering jerks, excessive oil consumption, and numerous recalls over the years. Mitsubishi Eclipse. The Mitsubishi Eclipse is a sporty little car with great gas mileage and decent handling. If you're buying one of the older models today, you can snag it for just around $3,000, according to Kelly Blue Book. But models made between 1,999 and 2003, and again in 2007, seem to be plagued with problems. According to MitsubishiClipsima.com, the rims and wheels tend to become damaged easily or suffer wear and tear over the years, which can make this car look worn out before its time. The tires also wear out more quickly than some models of vehicles. The interior tends to be cheaply made, which means parts can break. Finally, drivers reported trouble with the automatic transmission, powertrain, and steering on the 1,999 model in particular. Honda CRX Del Sol. Honda remains a trusted Japanese brand today with the Honda Civic. And Honda Accord sedans making car and driver's list of best-selling cars for 2023. However, the Honda CRX Del Sol, designed to replace the beloved Honda CRX in 1992, was nothing better than terribly disappointing, according to hotcars.com. The roof leaked. The cabin was noisy and front brake rotors tended to warp. Far from the sporty coupe of its namesake, the Honda CRX seemed to be nothing short of a lemon. Honda no longer makes a car equivalent to the Del Sol. The sportiest model you'll find in the Honda line today is the two-door version of the Civic Psy, 
with late model used versions going for around $20,000 and worth every penny considering that Hondas tend to hold their value. Toyota Paseo. We wouldn't blame you if you read Toyota Paseo and said, Toyota what? While other Toyotas, like the Camry, Tacoma, RAV4, and even the Prius. One of the first hybrid cars to gain mainstream popularity, our household name, the Paseo was barely a blip in the 1990s. Manufactured from 1991 to 1997, the subcompact car could have captured more market attention or love from Toyota fans despite being built on the Corolla frame. The car came in a controvertible and regular model. Today, these vehicles go for thousands in excellent condition. It's not so much that the Paseo is a bad car. It's not plagued with mechanical problems like others on this list. It just failed to capture the hearts of 90s drivers. So Toyota discontinued it quickly. As such, if you pick one up to restore, with so few available in the US, it could be hard to find parts. Suzuki Samurai and Suzuki X90. The 90S was a rough decade for Japanese auto manufacturers. Suzuki launched the Suzuki Samurai SUV with boxy lines reminiscent of the Jeep Wrangler. But the car was given a safety rating of not acceptable by consumer reports, according to Slashgear.com. It was prone to flipping during sharp maneuvers. Likewise, the Suzuki X90 successor had a similar problem of tipping over. However, unlike the Samurai, which had an appealing style, the two-seater X90 had a weird design. Suzuki was curious to know if it was a coupe, a sports car, or the front half of a pickup truck. It boasted only 90 horsepower and ultimately crawled into oblivion, along with the Samurai, as one of the worst Japanese cars ever made. And that wraps up our list of five Japanese cars you should stay away from buying. We hope you found this video informative and helpful in your car buying journey. Remember, making the right choice when it comes to purchasing a vehicle is crucial and avoiding potential pitfalls is just as important as finding the perfect ride. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more automotive content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from Automotive Class. Also, give us a thumbs up if you found this information useful. Have you had any experiences with these cars or do you have any other models you'd like us to review? Let us know in the comments section below. Your feedback is important to us and it can help fellow car enthusiasts make informed decisions. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Automotive Class. Until then, drive safe and enjoy the journey.